This video will introduce you to constructivism as a research paradigm. Firstly, to the question of ontology, or what is the nature of reality or being. To a constructivist, reality is made by people in social ways. It's a product of mutual understanding. This doesn't mean that a constructivist denies the physical world exists. They still acknowledge that the physical world exists, but a constructivist would argue that what gives that physical world meaning is the mutual understandings that are built between people when they engage with the physical world. Accordingly, a constructivist epistemology, which is how people come to know things, would see knowledge as co-constructed. A researcher isn't separate to the person that they're conducting research on. They actually see themselves as inherently involved in the research. Knowledge is a human construction, and the researcher and a participant co-construct understandings. So rather than see participants in research as subjects, they see people as participants, or co-researchers even, in some instances. Constructivism is really useful for building theory, where a positivist might be able to test a theory or identify that something is happening, a constructivist approach will start to understand why something might be happening, or how people might be thinking. It's useful for building theory in social sciences, and it employs qualitative methods like case study. The archetype of a constructivist you might think of as Obi-Wan Kenobi, or a whole range of different Jedi, although they can sometimes lean into the post-positivist end of the spectrum. Obi-Wan Kenobi embraces rationality, but he's also human, and he's heavily aware of the importance of context. He understands that meaning is constructed between cultures and between different people. And he also understands that the world isn't black and white, there are shades of grey, and that comes from that human dimension. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you might think of Tony Stark in Iron Man 3, where he recognises that there isn't an engineering solution to every problem, sometimes there are human and social solutions that he's got to find as well. And in Captain Marvel, you might think of the different social structures that exist between the Kree, Skrull, and human cultures. Their understanding of the universe, of what constitutes a refugee or a criminal, is constructed and contextual. And so the human element here is really, really significant in Captain Marvel. A constructivist would still see a physical city, but they'd also see dimensions that are mediated by human activity. Cities organise the world, they're complex and multiple communities that give life meaning and purpose. They might see London as a point in global exchange and culture. London has a lot of different functions for many different people, and it's a diverse city with a rich history, and it's understood differently in different contexts. So the way people see London varies by their local community. And within London itself, there are many local communities. 